Nate the Great by Marjorie Weinman Charmet. My name is Nate the Great. I am a detective. I work alone. Let me tell you about my last case. I had just eaten breakfast. It was a good breakfast. Pancakes, juice, pancakes, milk, and pancakes. I like pancakes. The telephone rings. I hoped it was a call to look for lost diamonds or pearls or a million dollars. It was Annie. Annie lives down the street. I knew that Annie did not have diamonds or pearls or a million dollars to lose. I lost a picture, she said. Can you help me find it? Of course, I said. I have found lost balloons, books, slippers, chickens, even a lost goldfish. Now I, Nate the Great, will find a lost picture. Oh, good. Annie said, "When can you come over?" "I will be over in five minutes," I said. "Stay right where you are. Don't touch anything. Don't move." "My foot itches," Annie said. "Scratch it," I said. I put on my detective suit. I took my notebook and pencil. I left a note for my mother. I always leave a note for my mother when I'm on a case. "Dear mother, I will be back. I am wearing my rubbers. Love, Nate the Great." I went to Annie's house. Annie has brown hair and brown eyes, and she smiles a lot. I would like Annie if I liked girls. She was eating breakfast, pancakes. I like pancakes. I said, "It was a good breakfast." Tell me about your picture. I said. I painted a picture of my dog Fang. Annie said, "I put it on my desk to dry. Then it was gone. It happened yesterday." You should have called yesterday. I said, while the trail was hot. I hate cool trails. Now where would a picture go? I don't know. Annie said, that's why I called you. Are you sure you're a detective? Sure, I'm sure. I will find the picture of Fang. I said, tell me, does this house have any trap doors or secret passages? No. Annie said, no trap doors or secret passages. I said. This will be a very dull case. I have a door that squeaks. Annie said, "Have it fixed." I said, "Now show me your room." We went to Annie's room. It was big. It had yellow walls, a yellow bed, a yellow chair, and a yellow desk. I, Nate the Great, was sure of one thing: Annie liked yellow. I searched the room. I looked on the desk and under the desk and in the desk, no picture. I looked on the bed. And under the bed, and in the bed, the bed was comfortable. I looked in the waste basket. I found a picture of a dog. Is this it? I asked. No, Annie said. My picture of Fang is yellow. I should have known. I said. Now tell me, who has seen your picture? My friend Rosamond has seen it, and my brother Harry, and Fang. But Fang doesn't count. He's a dog. Everybody and everything counts. I said. I, Nate the Great, say that everything counts. Tell me about Fang. Is he a big dog? Very big, Annie said. Does he have big teeth? I asked. Very big, Annie said. Does he bite people? No, Annie said. Will this help the case? No, I said. But it might help me. Show me Fang.